Trash day. An ordinary event on an ordinary street. One was just kind of like scattered all the way over here. You had another one scattered way over here. Ordinary until you see something out of the ordinary. When I started going through all of it, I started realizing the significance of what I actually got. Page after page, book by book. And when I started looking at the blueprints that were there, I started seeing the World Trade Center, Tower B, Tower A. The World Trade Center. We're like in the middle of the street with our blinkers on, digging through the trash, grabbing all this stuff out of there. And then I started, it started hitting me what I actually had. Jake Haas now has a copy of the architectural blueprints of the World Trade Center, the Mylar drawings of the World Trade Center, and slides showing the construction of the World Trade Center. And I don't know why the family threw this stuff out. That brings us back to Trash Day on this ordinary street in Southwest Denver, where Joseph Solomon lived. Joseph Solomon, the architectural project manager for the World Trade Center, moved to Denver in the 70s. My father passed away in no, at the end of November. And over, he had been in Denver for 40 years and collected lots and lots of stuff. His daughter Amy, who just flew back to California, was in Denver last week, cleaning out her parents' garage and taking out the trash. I saved the beautiful sketches of the construction site, of the construction workers, and as the towers were going up, the church in the background, um, those were most meaningful to myself and my sister, whereas the actual architectural plans were not as nostalgic, was not something that we needed. And so I put them out with the trash. Do you think you should have it, stuff? I think I should, you know, because what I did is I saved it from going to the dump. You know, this would have been, no one here would even ever even see these. Since Jake came to us with his find, I've been trying to find out who else would have these and how many exist. A quick online search brings up a website with black and white images of the architectural prints for Tower A. I've been in contact with the 9-11 Memorial, the New York, New Jersey Port Authority, New York Library, the New York Center for Architecture, and Avery, the Columbia University Library that houses architectural records for the firm Joseph Solomon worked for. Avery told me, since these are Diazo prints, they are inherently not one of a kind since their format is an architectural reproduction format. It is rare, but not unheard of, that these drawings and other sets are in private hands still. The Port Authority, which is the agency that the blueprints would have been filed with originally, has some of the blueprints, but told me, much of our archive was destroyed on 9-11, since our offices were in one World Trade Center. Is there a difference between historical value and monetary value? Absolutely. We asked the archivist at the Denver Public Library for guidance on the value of what's on these pages. So monetary value, they're going to be concerned about, you know, the, the quality of the paper. Are there, you know, nicks in it? Um, is it water damaged? And in archives, we don't, we don't really care about that as much. Um, it's what's on the page that is really important. Important to whom? The trash left out by one family is a treasure for another, but at what price? You want to sell them and you want the public to see them, those don't always go together. Right. So the end result would be is if I couldn't sell them, then I would eventually donate them to a museum, something like that, where the public could be able to see them.